we're deep in the landscape of the historic Shoot Estate, which was owned by the Pole family for over four centuries, who lived at Shoot House, who owned hundreds of acres of farmland in the Unborn Valley and, and Collie Valley. So we're walking along, along the valley, following hedgerows. This is perfect habitat for the Brown Hare Street butterfly. Back in September last year, East Devon A1B, with Devon Wildlife Trust, Butterfly Conservation, and the Devon Biological Record Centre, launched a citizen science survey, the Brown Hare Street Butterfly Egg Hunt. It's the only UK butterfly to lay eggs singularly in Blackthorn in hedgerows. There was a great response. Nearly 100 volunteers throughout the county signed up to go in search of these brilliant white eggs. Graham is one of these volunteers and I'm with him this morning and we're walking along this hedgerow to look out to see if we can find some of these eggs. We're in Brown Hare Street countryside here. We have the Unborn through here, up Shelford River Valley. Up here is an ash tree where the adult butterflies will be feeding on honeydew secreted by aphids and along in front of us here we have a mixed hedgerow probably only about 10% blackthorn but that's the food plant of the caterpillar. The adult butterflies are on the wing probably end of July to early September. They spend most of the time up in the trees feeding. The female only comes down to lay eggs and she might come and feed late summer on fleabane or thistle or bramble. But she'll be looking for a spot to lay her eggs, which is often between where this year's shoot on the blackthorn meets last year's twig. That's a typical place. And we're looking probably from about knee high to chest high, maybe a little more. Although we're under an ash tree at the moment, we could find eggs 100 metres away. So they've got a very big distribution. Already several survey results have been submitted with nearly half of them um, having eggs present. So that's really good news. But obviously a lot of the survey forms contain no eggs. And I'm wondering why some hedgerows, which are full of blackthorn in Devon, don't have the eggs. Why is this butterfly so rare? Why is it under threat? Here in Devon, we're blessed with miles of hedgerow ideal habitat for the brown hair streak but sadly their numbers could be far greater than they are because of hedgerow management. 50% of brown hair streak eggs laid in a hedge like this are lost to the flail and probably another 20 or 30% of those eggs that are left are eaten by harvestmen, predatory insects and birds. So the percentage of eggs that survive the winter which can last for eight months, is very small indeed. The brown hair street butterfly is one of the elusive eight species that East Devon AOMB are putting the spotlight on as part of their Saving Special Species um, campaign. And it's part of a national campaign that all AOMBs are involved in, uh, a big nature recovery programme you can find out more about this by visiting the East Devon A&B website.